The most unusual tragedies found on Roblox. I've talked about many planes and train tragedies in the past, but what about some of the more unusual tragedies like a dog being trapped in space or a man getting his arm stuck by a boulder for many days? You may not believe it, but these things have actually happened, and it's also been recreated on Roblox. And today, I'm going to take a look at these tragedies to see what exactly happened, because some of them are just unusual. So the first one I do want to talk about is the man who got his arm trapped between a boulder. The game is called 127 Hours, which is based off of the movie that was made about the actual person who got stuck by the boulder. The description even says, based on a true story. So let's play the game and see what exactly happened. All right, so it's just a massive uh, desert here. So apparently the guy is trapped in one of these areas. Uh, let's see, is it over? Oh, yeah, there he is. So this is the boulder that he was trapped in. Obviously, he couldn't move it, and he got his arm actually stuck in there. Uh, let's see what... Oh, geez, wow, that's uh, that's kind of violent. <laughs> okay, I see he's also got a knife in there. Um, If you don't know the story, this this guy, Evan Ralston, actually ended up using a knife to cut off his own arm to be able to escape this boulder. You can even see the water bottle there that's completely empty because remember, he did survive trapped for 127 hours. He even made this video while being stuck under a boulder just in case he didn't make it out alive. My name's Evan Ralston. My parents are down on Larry Ralston of Englewood, Colorado. If you ever find this, please make an attempt to get it to them. Be sure of it. I would appreciate it. Now, as sad as that video is, you'll be happy to know that he did, in fact, survive this tragic event. This man chopped his own arm. In 2003, a man named Aaron Ralston. That's the real guy. An American climber went to Blue John Canyon. While he was climbing, his right wrist was trapped against the canyon wall when the boulder fell. Yeah, this scene is from the movie 127 Hours. After running out of food and water, and maybe facing death in the canyon, Ralston made the painful choice to amputate his own arm with his pocket knife. In the end, Ralston's decision to amputate his arm saved his life. Ralston kept up mountain climbing despite the amputation. Wait, he kept doing it? The incident is detailed in Ralston's autobiography and the movie 127 Hours. Yo, honestly, good for him, but that's insane. But yeah, what led to this tragic event? How come he couldn't call anybody? Well, prior to his trip, he did not inform anyone about his hiking plans, nor did he have any way to call for help. Yeah, he didn't have like a cell phone or anything with him. And after five days of sipping water and slowly eating two burritos, he realized there was only one way to free his arm, but he didn't have the tools to actually break free. He would end up carving his name, date of birth, and what he thought was going to be the date of his death into the sandstone canyon wall. He also does his videotape of his last goodbyes to his family, and later that night, he begins to hallucinate and has a vision of himself playing with the future child while missing part of his right arm. Ralston would credit this as giving him the belief that he would live. And after doing the unthinkable, he managed to hike for six miles and encountered a family on vacation who would give him food and water and hurry to alert the authorities. He was rescued approximately four hours after amputating his arm. If he had never done that, he would probably not survive because nobody would be able to find him for a very long time. But yeah, now he's a motivational speaker and continues to do some canyoneering. I mean, big props for him for not letting that stop him. But now we move on to another tragedy, but this one's a bit more sad. This one's about Laika, the dog that was sent to space. Let's just go ahead and take a look at it and see what happens. Oh, there's a lot of dogs. Oh, is this Laika? Yeah, there's a lot of dogs here as well as a giant earth over there. Uh, yeah, that's because Laika got sent to space, and what this gravestone is referencing is that Laika unfortunately did not survive. Yeah, there's this other Roblox game here called For Laika, the USSR Space Dog, and this one's kind of more clunky. It has the rocket ship that Laika was sent in. Uh, yeah, that's because before humans were sent to space, they're sending animals in, and Laika was one of the first dogs to ever fly into space and orbit the earth. Let's take a look at this video here. 65 years ago today, a Russian dog made history as the first ever animal to to orbit the earth. Yeah, yeah. Overheated, cramped, and frightened in a rocket, a husky spitz mix named Laika traveled into space 2,000 miles above Moscow and died in a Soviet ship. Sputnik 2, which smashed into the Earth's atmosphere. The Soviet recruiters collected stray female dogs because they're smaller than males. Yeah, so these are all wild dogs that they just found in the streets, which is pretty brutal if you ask me. A dog called Kudrevka was chosen. Kudrevka barked and became known as Laika. So because the dog was a good dog, they sent it into space? They expected her to die from oxygen deprivation after seven days in space. They expected her to die? Sputnik 2 lifted off. The noises of flight terrified Laika. Oh no. Her heartbeat went to triple the normal rate, and her breath rate quadrupled. 
She died soon after. Jeez. Animals are still being used in space tests today, but there is hope that the animals won't suffer the same fate as Laika. In 2021, SpaceX launched dozens of baby squids into space. Baby squids into space? What? Wait, what is Elon Musk doing? Wait, uh, hold on. Yeah, so this occurred in 1957. And yeah, that video is true. Laika's survival was never expected. She died of overheating hours into the flight on the craft's fourth orbit. Yeah, I don't really want to read Laika's training. It's honestly pretty sad. This whole story is pretty sad, TBH. Because they deemed Laika as a flight dog, a sacrifice to science on a one-way mission to space. One of the technicians even said, after placing Laika in the container before closing the hatch, we kissed her nose and wished her bon voyage, knowing that she would not survive the flight. Dude, this is so tragic. I, I hate this. And unfortunately, Laika wasn't the only animal that was sent into space. There's definitely a lot more. Uh, a popular one was Ham Chimpanzee, which also has a Roblox game about them. But fortunately for Ham, the chimpanzee did end up surviving the space trip. But now one of the most popular tragedies on Roblox is the one about Harambe. Yeah, that's right, the silverback gorilla and he has hundreds upon hundreds, possibly even thousands of Roblox games made about him. Rip Big Guy, Harambe Tribute, Cult of Harambe's, wait what? Uh, okay. Hacked by Harambe. Yeah, he did kind of become a meme, but I wanted to see what a Roblox game was about and then do more research on the incident. So let's go ahead and play one of these games and what the heck is that thumbnail? What do we got here? So is this the exact recreation of the day of the incident? Is, is that Harambe right there? I currently see two gorillas. Oh wait, no, is that him down there? Yeah, if you don't know the full story of Harambe, pretty much a kid climbed under the fence to go inside the gorilla enclosure, which led to people freaking out. And in order to save the kid, the zookeepers ended up fatally shooting Harambe. Wait, I just noticed this. That's Harambe up there. He's uh, he's an angel. And for obvious reasons, a lot of people were upset by the whole situation, especially with the zookeeper's decision for this. Here's even some video footage of the whole situation. So that's Harambe with the kid. Harambe did not attack the child. Okay. Held his hand, stood him up, and examined his clothing. In the wild, I'm certain the boy wouldn't have been killed. So those are quotes from some some experts on the whole situation. And this video has 106 million views and all of the comments are extremely angry. Imagine being shot because someone broke into your own house. Several years later and this still makes me angry. They really killed the peaceful creature, a gorilla who was doing his best to help a baby. The gorilla kept the child close to him, something that his parents didn't do. Yeah, so the incident occurred in 2016 when the three-year-old boy climbed under the fence where he was violently grabbed and dragged by Harambe. Harambe then carried the boy up a ladder out of the moat onto dry land. So was he trying to help the boy. Fearing for the boy's life, a zoo worker shot and killed Harambe. Yeah, a lot of people believe that Harambe doing this was actually him trying to help the boy. Harambe was killed one day after his 17th birthday. Dude, that's so sad. What the heck? Yeah, and many people say that the zookeeper should have used a tranquilizer dart, but that would have taken 5 to 10 minutes to actually take effect, which might have further aggravated Harambe. I will say, the whole incident is kind of similar to the 1996 incident, where this gorilla actually helped the boy escape from the gorilla confinement. Binti Joa, who is the female gorilla who rescued a three-year-old boy who- Yeah, same age as the other incident. At the Brookfield Zoo near Chicago on Friday. Binti first cradled the boy, took him to a surface door where zoo personnel could get to him. Zoo officials say Binti may have had a special affinity for the child because she had been abandoned by her mother and was raised by humans. Aw, that, that's nice. You can see her looking around for someone to help her. The way she kept looking left or right and up, she is trying to find someone. What a smart, lovely gorilla. Proof that animals have compassion. But yeah, what other tragedies have you guys found on Roblox. Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.